on island as young men during times of war and recovery. Tomas McLaughlin sat down with the dignitaries of the 75th Annual Liberation Day Parade. A strange familiarity is how liberators Lloyd Glick and Raymond Faulkner and World War II veteran Gordon Rosengren describe returning to Guam with memories of the war so fresh in their minds. They share their tales with family by their side at a breakfast hosted by the Guam Visitors Bureau. Veteran Gordon Rosengren, now 94, came to the island during recovery. What Guam looked like, I mean, everything was shot down. There was, I don't think there was a tree standing. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, pretty hor hard for the people who used to live here, you know, no doubt about that. He served on Guam, Saipan, Tinian, Rhoda, and the Marshall Islands. It's his first time back since 1945, when he was just 21 years old. 95-year-old Lloyd Glick approached Guam on the USS North Carolina. He enlisted in the Navy just months after the attack at Pearl Harbor. He chronicled stories of the battle in diary entries found in the book From Bugle Boy to Battleship. Our purpose was uh, to guard the aircraft carriers because the, uh, the main action of World War II was aircraft to aircraft, uh, not ship to ship. 97-year-old Raymond Faulkner served in the U.S. Marines from 1942 to 1945. As a private first class, the Purple Heart and Bronze Star Medalists faced off Japanese forces head-on, sometimes not sleeping for days. He says he's back for the community. I'm getting old. Not very much time left, and uh, I wanted to not see the island as much as see the people. Memories of their time on island are captured in old photographs and stories passed on for generations. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Maglonia.